today on The Flush. They're everywhere. South Dakota's short grass prairie produces explosive numbers of wild birds. Whoa. Jumping from the saddle. Get up there, get up there, get up there. I take aim with a first time hunter that just so happens to be my wife. Oh, right there, honey. The Flush, presented by Federal Premium Ammunition and Peasants Forever. Pull. I've been a hunter nearly my entire life. My wife, on the other hand, hasn't hunted a day in hers. But that's about to change. Sarah loves new challenges. Pull. And she's a quick learner. Yeah! Proud of you. Thanks. Nice job. Most importantly, she wants to experience a hunt firsthand. I know, I know. I definitely married up. Whoa! It doesn't take long to build her confidence. After a few dances, she's ready for the real thing. To make her first hunt extra special, we've brought in the horses. Jeff Gillespie operates Tinker Kennels just outside of Pierce, South Dakota. He hunts for sharp-tailed grouse and prairie chickens with a fleet of setters he follows on horseback. This is Maverick. He's one of my veterans. This is from me. Yeah. <laughs> you think he remembers me? I know horses have the best memory, right? Yeah, I and mean, he just gave you the stink eye, so I think yeah. he does. <laughs> you again. I've hunted with Jeff and his horses before, which is why I can hardly wait to saddle up and share this experience with my bride. Can you take a ride? You know, I grew up on a farm and I I just, I have such vivid memories as a child of being out in grasslands just like this. This is a Twinkie field for horses. <laughs> Jeff gives us time to bond with his horses, which is the final piece of preparation before Sarah's first hunt. Maverick, we hit it off. Come on, buddy. <laughs> So you ready to go hunting, bud? Or should I say, are you ready to go eat some grass? Because I know that's what you're gonna do, huh? If you shoot all of that today, that's been a good day. How's it feel? Feels good. It's just a matter of experience more than anything at this point. Got him. You got him. I've got this competitive nature in me. If I just was like, I'm gonna, you know, I'm gonna get it. We'll be riding. The dogs are going to point, and then I'll say, okay, get down. Dismount. Grab your gun. Head towards the dogs. It's a pretty fast process. Those birds aren't gonna hold forever, and these birds are a hard hunt. But the experience is worth the work when it comes right down to it. Jeff's wife, Teresa, rounds out our hunting party of four. She's his business partner on the prairie. That's a lot of fun. I love training dogs and watching them work. 
Teresa's the glue that keeps Jeff's dream together. There's no way that I could pull this off without her. I do everything but hunt. At this point, we've all done everything we can to put Sarah in position for success. Now, we just need to find a bird. Point right here. Whoa. Watch your step, but move quick. Whoa. Just when I think the grouse might actually be following our script, Jeff's dogs break point. <sighs> Close one. Did your heart pump a little bit? Yeah. <laughs> I got a little excited there. I got more excited than I normally do. All right, guys, let's saddle up. Call that getting our hooves wet. There you go. <laughs> the Flush is brought to you by Federal Premium Ammunition. Every shot counts. Waltons, everything but the meats. Benelli. And by Nutrisource. Get ready, honey. They locked on pretty tight. I learned long ago that if you get the chance to take somebody new hunting, you do it. Especially if it's your best friend. When my wife said she was ready to hunt, I told her it wouldn't be easy. But that's a hand. The experience could be life-changing. Whoa. Every time anything flies out like a butterfly, I'm like <gasps> Wild birds have a way of fooling even the most seasoned hunters. There goes a bird. Dang it. There they go. Get up there, get up there, get up there. Every time those dogs go on point, it's just like this rush of adrenaline. You don't know, is the bird going to come up right in front of you? Is it going to come up 80 yards away? Rooster! Or will the birds even be in season? <laughs> that rooster's off limits. He was hiding in there the whole time. Jeff's English setters, Beck and Bandit, are trained to pinpoint every upland bird. Whoop. And it's our job to properly identify them. Keep pushing through. It's just like nonstop anticipation. Oh, there's a bird out here that's got my name on it. <laughs> it's just being out in the wide open prairie and looking at the rolling hills. There's just something unbelievable about it. There aren't many words that truly describe this experience. These horses, Jeff's dogs. In South Dakota's rolling prairie, all wrapped into the thrill of a wild bird hunt. There you go. I got one. You did? I did. Good job, honey. There it is, honey. <laughs> oh, man. It happens so fast. Yeah. I uh, honestly, like, there's so many things, like, don't point the gun at the dog. Don't, you know, I just wanted to. OK, so now that it's, we got one now down. Now that one's down, now. Now there's a dog on point over there. Look at that. OK, see you later. OK. I'm OK if I don't get a bird. I just want to make sure that I'm, that I'm doing this all the right way. Oh, right there, honey. See the point? Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, honey, come on. You see him? Get ready right here in case another one goes. Click, nothing happened. Damn. Because my safety was on. First. Safety first. Oh, there goes one. 
all of a sudden we were just in the middle of a popcorn flush where it's just like one here, one here, one here. We got a point there? Be ready, honey, come on. It's gonna happen right up here. Look at that thing. Oh no, they're everywhere. Whoa, finally. Sarah connects. When the bird went down, I just, I like fell silent. Like I just think I was just so in awe of what had just happened. Honey, you did it. <laughs> you There's so much going through my mind at the time. The biggest thing was like, is this right? Should I be shooting at this? <laughs> is this the right kind of bird? Yep. I mean, it was so close. I had time to just line everything up. It was just like, it couldn't have been any better. I think Thanks. it's safe to say I've been initiated. I've got blood on my gloves. <laughs> Here, hold on a second. No! No! <laughs> now, here's the other part. You gotta carry that baby home. I'm putting a bird in my pocket for the first time in my life. The first of hopefully many. All the pieces just work together and you get your bird and it's just like nothing else. It was meant to be? It was meant to be. The Flush is brought to you by Pheasants Forever, Carlson's Choke Tubes, The Shooter's Choice, North Dakota Tourism, and by Rufflin Performance Kennels. This segment of The Flush is brought to you by North Dakota Tourism. Start your journey at NorthDakotaLegendary.com. On the side of a dusty dirt road overlooking miles of South Dakota's shortgrass prairie, Jeff and Teresa Gillespie serve up a five-star experience. We got a fire. When I am doing this, it has never worked. Don't believe him. He's one of America's hardest working hunters. Jeff's day begins hours before the sun rises. Typically on a day of a hunt, we're up at four o'clock, sometimes earlier, catching horses, making sure the dogs are all ready to go for the day. But by the time I hit the field and I see those dogs hit the ground running, it's worth everything for that. Jeff's dedication provides hunters with a one-of-a-kind experience. To Jeff and Teresa, cheers. Thank you, Jeff. Not a bad view either. After lunch, we jump right back in the saddle. It's just so peaceful. It's so calming. The crickets chirping and the wind blowing and the sun beating down. It's just like being able to look across and see the rolling hills. All right, here we go. Being out here with my husband, you know, just watching him do something that he's super passionate about. He's just, he's so focused and it's, it's just, it's so attractive to me to see that side of him. Good job, honey. Good job, good job, good job. Yeah, we got him, we got one. You know, deep down inside, I, I have to say that's just like every wife's dream is to be able to share in an adventure with her husband. We got a point right here. This husband just wants this moment to last forever. Oh, that's a beautiful sight. Get ready, honey. There goes. No, nope, don't shoot. Get ready for another one. When a husband and wife come out to do a hunt like that, you can see that bond. I didn't even take the safety off because I was like, it's way too low. You did the right thing. I'm proud of you. That experience is something that 
you're gonna talk about for years. Uh-oh. There's nothing like it anywhere else. The best part of the experience is the fact that you're not walking 20 miles on foot through knee-high grass. You can actually sit back and enjoy your time in the saddle. Ironically, Beck and Bandit refused to let us ride. And you can feel the intensity that they have when they lock on point. Come on, there's something here. Oh, there it goes. It is calm and serene, and then the bird comes up. Ah. Watch it, right by you, honey. It really is, it's just an explosion. One explosion. There's one. After another. Oh. Nice, honey. There are so many birds in this field right now. Holy cow. That's twice the size of the last bird, honey. I got my limit. You're up. Carrying my limit, I can't help but admire my wife trying to beg hers. Well, is it kind of cool that it's just you and the dogs? No. Nope. I feel like it's more pressure on just me. Oh, right there, honey. Another one. I'm out of shells. Reload. There you go. Get ready for another. Oh, God. <laughs> Damn. These dogs will hunt literally all night, but we don't have to. Good for today? Yeah, it was an awesome day. <laughs> a lot of chances. <laughs> a lot of chances. <laughs> a lot of misses. <laughs> and moments that we'll remember for a lifetime. It was so cool to see so much action. Gosh, there's not really any way to describe it except for just like complete satisfaction. Tomorrow, we ride one final time. Pheasants Forever's mission remains to protect and restore America's wildlife habitat. Join Pheasants Forever today and your membership will help us to create healthy habitat, cleaner water and abundant wildlife. Please help us make a difference today that will last forever. Jeff Gillespie's motto hangs on his horse's saddle. He takes great care of his business so others can share in his passion. Duke and Bandit take the lead on our final hunt. Duke is five and Bandit three. They're two of Jeff's 18 English setters. Both have championship winning bloodlines both are in their prime. They enjoy the hunt just like we enjoy the hunt. Don't get me wrong, I love to hunt. But when I'm out here guiding, that is, you know, that is just as enjoyable because I get to see those dogs do their job. Jeff guides upland bird hunters from September through December. His horses give them a one-of-a-kind view of this rolling landscape. Where are you hiding, birds? Where are you hiding? <laughs> that sight never gets old to see. Oh, honey, get them. But the fact remains, they go. These sharp-tailed grouse and prairie chickens are wild and elusive. I feel like it's only a matter of time. They're native to the prairie. 
Right here. And they thrive out here. Oh. No! No! I got flustered. It happens to everybody. Dang it. I can feel it and I'm confident we're gonna have one more chance. I like it. Coming in hot. Push, push, push. One more. Go ahead and point that bird. Take that, take that. Nice shot, bud. It's running. Whoa, get that one, honey. Good job, guys. Perfect. Perfection. That was perfection in every I way. I love it. What a way to end the hunt. A storybook ending with a first time hunter. Gosh, there's not really any way to describe it except for just like complete satisfaction. My wife can now add her powerful voice to the world of conservation. It was just like, it couldn't have been any better. Let's go see the kids. Look at that tail. Is it still alive? Uh, a little bit. A little bit. Just think, above the fireplace, he'll be standing kind of like this. He has a blood bubble hanging out of his mouth. Yeah, yeah, there is. But I'll wash that off. Then can we have him on the mantle? No. It's awesome. It's awesome being able to do this together. That was just for the camera. I'm <laughs> just kidding. <laughs> I love you. Yeah, I, I didn't get a handshake.